I put it plain in your face. Ha ha ha. This is one programmer you don't even know. Tell lie to your vision. Check this out. When people when they have these holidays and they make these sales, what's the first thing people go out and buy? At Walmart, Best Buy. What do they want you to buy? Television. Hey man, you see that new 50 inch man, 75 inch man? I got it for $2.99, bro. Put it in your house. You turn it on. They got you. They got you. Man, I got my new TV, man. I got for $2.99, 75 inch, man. I don't know if you see my podcast. I got this big TV when I bought this, bought, bought that condo. This huge TV came in with the condo. I don't know if it's like 80 inches. If you see my podcast, but I never turned that TV on since the day I moved in. Never. It's just on my wall as decoration. I, n I don't even know how it work. It's like 50, it's like, I don't know, it's like an 80 inch TV. I don't even know how it work, man. I don't even know how it work. But that's what they do. They, they can only control you they, through the media. That's why you have these networks, five major networks, mainstream. They want you to like, they want you to not, they want you to just focus on what they have planned for you, not for what you want to plan for yourself. They drive the narrative. They want to create reality for you. They don't want you to create your independent reality. They want you to create a reality that they seem is best for you. And that's why they paint the picture around you. Like, they, you know, the debate, the, let me show you something. They paint a picture, right? That we live in a world of scarcity and lack. Impossible. Impossible. A matter of fact, lack and scarcity is the most scarcest thing in the universe. Abundance is like infinite, man. But you won't, you won't see it unless you tune into it. Because remember, we're, we're bordered by different frequency waves. Remember our brain? Remember, everything is inside of us, right? So we're going to project a world that's going to reflect what we vibrate. So if you're a person, you're always going to see lack if you're exposed to lack. You can never see abundance, even if it wants to come to you. You just can't see it because your frequency is blocking it. That's what the matrix do. They want you to keep that, they want to keep that frequency so you can't see it. They want you to, they want, because they want you to be dependent upon them. They need you so you can drive the, the system. They need you. You don't need the matrix. The matrix needs you. That's why you have your power. That's why I tell people you have the power. They convince you that they need you. Just like a toxic relationship. If you have a toxic relationship or a narcissist person relationship, they'll convince you that you need them. You, oh, you, yeah, you're going to leave. You know you ain't going to find someone better than me. Oh, you know you can't do better than me. Go ahead, go ahead. You're going to come back. Plant that doubt in your head. That's what the matrix do to you. <clears throat> Where are you going to go? How are you going to live? I'm the best you ever did. Da, 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 da. They prey on your subconscious uh, limiting beliefs. So if, if you're someone... Like I always say to my, I say to my tribe and you guys, if you got kids, switch it up. Don't, don't. If you're gonna home, if you gotta homeschool your kids, homeschool your kids. Because the minute they get in there, they're gonna be programmed. I'm telling you. If your kids are like seven, when they reach the age of seven or eight, start putting them on subliminals. Have them use subliminals. Start teaching them to visualize, so that they can change the course going up. Once they, once they reach seven or eight, you can start to put them in the game because their critical divide is developing. That's when you can do them. Seven, eight, yeah. Eight years old and up is that you can start to put them on some subliminals. You can start to teach them how to visualize because the, the critical divide is developed and the conscious mind is now coming online. That's when you put them in the game. Is weed wrong? No. Everything you can do in moderation is not is good. Sports and games too is the same thing. We get it, we get, because remember what I said guys, we have a very smart people running the matrix. 
like psychologists, people study the brain, they work for these, they know, they, they're, they're, they're people, I don't know if you know this, like media corporations, you see those commercials you watch on TV, to you, the brains behind those commercials, they are, they are paying people millions of dollars to get into your head. There are people studying human psychology. They want to know how your mind works. And they program these commercials so that they can get into the animalistic part. Or they, they want to tap into that addictive part of us. Sports do the same thing. Sports create the competition. It creates this pride. Now look, sports in itself is not bad. You, you could, but you got to see big picture. You know, I can enjoy sports. I like sports. I watch sports. But I know what I'm doing it for. See, what, what people do when they get into sports, they get engulfed. Same thing with like your reality stars and your stars. What people do is you focus on these people's lives instead of building your own life. You know, my grandmother used to tell me, I remember this because I was when I was a kid, I was the Knicks, I love the Knicks. Of course, I watched the Yankees and I would watch a lot of basketball, man. And she would always come to me and she said, turn the TV off. It's like, why? And she said one thing with me that resonated to me today. She's like, you see all those people you're watching on the basketball team? You know what they are? They are millionaires. They got all the money in the world. You're a kid. You haven't even just figured out what you want to do. Why are you watching them when they're already set? That was deep. Because that didn't hit until later on. And I thought to myself, I said, damn. I thought, I was like, man, how, imagine how many people like waste their life. They just run, after work, they run to go home to watch someone else li live their good life. Instead of going and working on their business or working on their goals. They rather watch like the Kardashians. They rather watch like this movie star. They want to watch this famous singer. They want to watch this star athlete. And But nothing's wrong with that, I'm saying. But what people do because of the animalistic part of it and our ego, we get attached and we come embedded with these people's lives and we we ignore our own life. So they're getting rich while we're profiting making them rich. And then you're over here, you're gonna struggle. That's the matrix, people. Mm -hmm. You got to you got to look, the, the secret is, this, this is my formula that I've discovered. 